so where can we uh like well let me let me let me just real quick just go i'll 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 dirt sheet it up and ask the dirt sheet question you know had you uh had any contact with AEW? did they kind of come did they sniff around when they knew you were coming up you're going to be uh away from wwe or anything like any of those talks Uh, in the past some but uh i had a plan uh that i've been working on probably the last year and a half that i wanted it i I didn't want to go anywhere and i appreciate that uh several companies reached out immediately but i didn't uh i go i had this one plan i just want to do this thing on my own and even so um scott demore was so insistent because the locker room was so strong and so many of the the locker room tna reached out and i go man you guys are really you guys are really making this hard okay okay Let's do some dates. I'm not going to sign for three years, but I go, I just want to bounce around, be a hired gun. And I go, I'll go with anybody and do anything. And I just, I really wanted to, I go, I just get out of a, a long-term relationship, yeah. 19 years. <laughs> I go, I don't want to sign a paperwork that says you can't do this. You can't do this. And you're rep- like, no. Yeah. That's the reason you I, left. St- yeah. I could still represent companies. I am a great brand ambassador. I just don't want to be locked in it, just in case I go, I did it for too long. I stayed a couple extra years just to get, to get the good money. And then now I'm rested up. I'm in the best shape of my life mentally and physically. And I'm like really good at wrestling. So uh, I think I timed it out perfectly, no matter what uh, any fans tell me on Twitter. So I did my plan exactly how I want to do it. And I want to bounce around. I thought I was going to bounce around for six months and then look around. I think I'm going to do a year, maybe longer, and then settle down somewhere. That's great. Uh, but, but so far, man, uh, Japan has treated me so well. That locker room is awesome. But and TNA, what I've been to a few more tapings than with Japan. It's it truly is uh, the business model behind the scenes is so close to WWE, like long term booking, having pieces in place, having people in place to where you you don't just always have to go to Vince. You can go to someone and go to someone else or make a move here. And I just I love I don't always want to bother the most important boss with a small thing because I'm mm-hmm. new. So, but I really like all the pieces in place in that business model is long-term booking and storytelling. And I go, man, I, that's what I can sink my teeth into the most. What other uh, appearances? Go ahead, Con Answer. No, go ahead. I was just going to ask him what other appearances he had uh, in Philly during uh, Mania Week if he wanted to play. Oh, brother. Like a million? <laughs> Bro, so, yeah. So, in my head, uh, I'll do this fast, but like originally I was like, oh, cool. Um, the major brothers and a few other guys, uh, will be signing at WrestleCon. I'm happy to go do it. And I go, but I'll get out of there. And then my brother goes, let's do Hulkamania on Wednesday to kick off WrestleMania. Week. Okay, cool. And they go, Hey man, you want to do blood sport on Thursday afternoon? I go, what? let's do it. And like, well, how about three hours later at the WrestleCon show? Yeah. What? All right. How about two nights at WrestleCon? Screw it. Let's do it. And then someone else reached out for something on Sunday. And I said, Hey, uh, this is a busy week. Uh, I'm on the fence, but I, I got a bunch of stuff. So yeah, Hulkamania, we do it at uh, Helium on Wednesday night. Thursday, Bloodsport, which I have never done before. And, and I've only had great. John Morrison tell me about it. Yeah. And it's uh, me and uh, Speedball Bailey. And I'm really looking forward to it because I was locked in a bubble and I don't know who a lot of people are, but he's someone who I bumped he's into great. at the locker room. And it had other people before I bumped into him go, hey, this this kid's good, man. You should check it out. So He's great. that's going to be something special, I think, because I don't know what to do when it comes to blood sport. And everyone loves this kid. I go, I cannot wait to see how that goes. Mm. Yeah, you'll have a lot of fun and make a lot of money and run into a lot of old friends, which is what's great. Running into some old friends is going to feel good because, yeah, texting, it's not the same. When you're out of the locker room and you're just texting like four or eight guys, it's not the same. Yeah. Well, we might even bump into each other over there. Oh, yeah. Yo, what's up? I just want to thank you guys for watching this clip. Don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And join our YouTube membership for hours and hours of exclusive, unedited, uncensored content. And being a member will help you get involved in our upcoming live streams. Uh, thank you for your support. Thank you for riding with us. I know you got a lot of other uh, podcast choices, be it wrestling or other ones. And thank you for picking us. Boom.